Hi everyone and thank you for watching today's video. Today I want to talk about my favorite music YouTubers slash Instagrammers since I found a couple of them over there. The first person that I want to mention is Emily Davidson. She's a Baroque cellist and she does post very consistently to YouTube. If I could choose one word to describe her playing, I think it would be pure. I think that's a good word because she's so delicate in her approach to phrasing and musicality. There's so much artistry in her interpretations. So even if you aren't interested necessarily in learning the Baroque cello, maybe that's not your thing, you should still listen to her, the way that she phrases, get that into your into your ear. And that should help no matter what instrument you play, it should help with your musicality. I think that um, not only is she enjoyable to listen to, but it's also just very inspirational. The next person that I wanna mention is Drew Alexander Ford, also known as That Viola Kid. He is mind-blowingly talented ridiculously so. Um, he graduated from Juilliard, he calls himself an edutainer, and one of my favorite things about Drew and his online personality and what he talks about is how honest and transparent he is about being a classical musician. I've seen some of his posts where he talks about, you know, the feelings of this just isn't as good as I want it to be, and a lot of classical musicians aren't brave enough to do that. They're not brave enough to be that honest, and so for him to do that, to, I think he's almost at 100,000 followers, if not over by now on Instagram, to do that in front of that many people is so, it's just brave. And it also helps other musicians to not feel so alone and so isolated in those emotions, in those feelings of um, inadequacy, if that's the right word to use. The next person that I wanna talk about is Kermaine Booker, also known as That Cello Guy. He is a wonderful person and a wonderful player. We actually did a cover together of Thy Will by Hilary Scott and the Scott Family. What I like most about him is that he uses his social media influence and his music to spread positive thoughts and feelings and encouragement. He encourages people to love one another and to accept one another, and that's what we need. We need more of that. And I love that he uses his platform to to do that. The next person is Emily Guibu. If I mispronounce your name, dear Emily, I am so sorry. I actually watched videos on how to pronounce it correctly, so I really hope I did that right. Emily is a beautiful harpist. We also collaborated. We did a cover of When We Were Young by Adele. And if you enjoy just gorgeous harp sounds, definitely go over to her channel. She posts very consistently. The next person is Chloe Trevor. This person, she, oh, Chloe Trevor, she's great. Um, she's so fun and bright and incredibly talented. It's crazy. She's well over 100,000 followers on Instagram and I hope that she just gets the whole world to follow her because she is so great. What I love about her is that she makes classical music very relatable and humorous and playful is a good word maybe. She makes it just fun for anyone. You don't have to be a classical musician to appreciate what she does. You can just be anyone and you'll just love the content that she produces. So if you want to listen to beautiful music and if you want to laugh, be sure to check out her Instagram page as well. She also has some really, really good music videos, very high quality um, on her YouTube channel. So you should definitely look at those as well. The last person I want to talk about is Warren Oya. Warren, if I said your name wrong, I know you told me how to pronounce it and I forgot. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I tried. I was also able to collaborate with Warren. We did a cover of Phil Collins' uh, You'll Be In My Heart. And afterwards, he was so kind, he was willing to sit down with me and give me some tips on how to help my Instagram account. And he was one of my very first inspirations. I did not start posting videos to Instagram until I saw him do it first. And I was like, oh, this is possible. This is an actual idea, so. I post videos now on Instagram, all thanks to Warren. So that is my list of favorite music YouTubers and Instagrammers. There are more, but these are my top, my top ones, and I followed them the longest now out of anyone else, and I just love seeing their progress, and I'm very grateful to them for being so inspirational, not only to me, but to a bunch of other people. They've been great role models, and they would definitely be good role models for you as well. Hopefully this video helped, hopefully it gives you some ideas of who to follow and what material to listen to. As always, love what you do, practice well, share it with others. Thank you for watching today's video and stay tuned for next week's video.